Hello, and welcome back to my playthrough of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Explorers of Sky. And in this episode, I'll be starting the post-game by going through what I believe is called the Mystifying Forest. So yes, another bloody forest dungeon, but without further ado, time to get into it. As a result of Phantom and Spike's heroic actions, the destruction of time was stopped. And peace returned to the world of Pokemon. Of course, not everything returned to normal right away. I'd appreciate if you carried on. Some places remained where time was still out of control. But overall, things were becoming better everywhere. Oh yeah. As for Phantom and Spike, they returned to Wigglytuff's guild. And fell back into their daily routine of vigorous training. One morning, several months later. What? Graduation? That's right. Graduation from the guild. If you graduate, you can leave the guild. You'll be rid of the harsh daily training program too. Of course, that all depends on your passing the graduation exam. Hey, 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 chatter. Hey, hey, we've been around a lot longer than those two. Hey, hey, why do Phantom and Spike get to take the graduation exam before we do? They've already proven themselves to be worthy many times over. And after all... Phantom and Spike saved the world. It's only natural that they've earned the right to be tested. And that's how it goes. We will soon conduct the graduation exam. I expect you to be prepared for it. Loudred took the graduation exam last year. And promptly failed, hey hey. You could get lost. <laughs> yep, you failed it. So, what do we have to do for this graduation exam? I want to explore the depths of a wood named Mystifying Forest. You should find a place called Luminous Spring there. Luminous Spring? Yep. It was where Pokemon once went to evolve, but maybe because of the time travels we had. No sunlight shines on the spring now. Now nothing can evolve there. We want you to travel to Luminous Spring and return with its treasure. If you can bring that treasure back to the guild, you pass the exam. You will then be recognised as a fully trained exploration team, and graduate from the guild with full honours. Okay, we have to bring back the treasure. Let's do this, Phantom. But, you have to watch out for one thing. There you'll find a frighteningly strong enemy. The Grand Master of All Things Bad lives there. The Grand Master of All Things Bad? It sounds cheesy, but when you find out who the boss is and who the Grand Master is, it's just so... F I just found it funny, seven years ago, but anyway... Yep, the Grand Master is terribly wicked. Terribly wicked. It's horrifying presence that no one would ever want to meet. So, good luck with that. What? Huh? That'll do for morning briefing. Alright, everyone. Let's get down to work. Hooray! What do we do, Phantom? The Grand Master of all things bad? Hey, Loudred. Loudred, you took the graduation exam last year, didn't you? There's something we'd like to know. Can you tell us what the Grand Master of All Things Bad was like? Uh, I'm sorry, but I'm not allowed to talk about it. It's the guild rule. I can't talk about it. But I will tell you this. You're in for a dreadful, terrifying time. What I went through, even now, when I let myself remember it. Oh dear. Ugh, Loudred didn't tell us anything useful. We'll just have to do our best to graduate on our own. Let's go to Treasure Town and get ready. Deep in Mystifying Forest is a special place. It is called Luminous Spring. Your objective is to reach Luminous Spring and return with its treasure. If you can safely return with the treasure, you will pass the exam. You'll gain official recognition as a first-rate exploration team, and you will earn the honour of graduating from the guild. I wish you the best of luck. And you know, I actually think Team Charm was the last to do it. Anyway, let's talk now to that. Thinking about it even now. Yep. Do, 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 do. Anyway, I'm on gold rank. I've still got a way to go. Um, but you know, anyway, I've got seven reviver seeds with me. You know, that's fine. Anyway, Well, you've got that, I guess. Du -du -du, du -du -du -du. I actually think you have to go on your own as well, but you know. Du -du 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 -du. 
There we go. I mean, those jobs will actually not be too bad now in the northern desert, but you know, still having a look. Oh, bloody hell. I guess I'll um, take this job and just, you know, store it. Because I won't be doing it yet. Most of the rest of the jobs I will be doing will be um, after the post game. And then I'll be going doing the legendary hunt. Oh, lovely. Most of the legendaries you see in the um, main story, you can go back to fight. So Dialga. There's a few in the post game I'll be able to go back to get. But anyway. Oh, Spike and Phantom. Hi. Hey, Teddy Ursa and Ursa Ring. What's going on? Are you going out somewhere? Yep, we're going off to Mystifying Forest now. What? Mystifying Forest? But isn't it dangerous here? Haven't you heard? The Grandmaster of all things bad is supposed to be there. <coughs> Excuse me. The Grandmaster of all things bad? I've never heard of anything like that. You're sure you're not making a mistake? We go play in Mystifying Forest often. We've never seen or even heard of a Grandmaster. You must have misheard a bad rumour or something. Let's go. Bye. See, it all seems very odd. But, you know. Something's not right. That doesn't sound anything like what Wigglytuff said. It's not as if we can do anything about it. Let's get ready and go out to Mr. Fying Forest. I would link moves, as I said, but... I don't, I don't see the point in it anyway. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Good to see that anyway. I'll have two Reviver Seeds on me you now anyway, store. Yeah, store that as well. Store that. Um, that. 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 I guess I'll keep out all the berries, um, get rid of all that, store all this in, I'll keep, I'll keep some of them out, yep, right now I'll just, you know, touch up on everything, um, do 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 do, Wait, mix elixir. Oh, that's a bit strange anyway. Anyway, yeah, the, I will say the reviser seed. Um, I believe you burst out with laughter if you use it. Uh, yeah. I saw a playthrough of this and um, someone got to die alga. And um, they had one, well, they, they had a reviser seed that they thought was a revival seed. And, um, yeah... It was pro it was the most funny way to lose the Dialga ever. Uh, it was quite funny, but you know, anyway. Not team items sort out. There we go. That'll do. Might sort out storage now. It's a lot of bloody apples. I will say. Seven fifteen. 19. I'm 19 Reviver Seeds in there again. This should be enough. I mean, quite a few of the post-game dungeons are either long or difficult or both. Um, Mr. Fine Forest, I think, is quite long. Anyway, is there any more money in the bank? I think there isn't there. From Here comes Team Charm. Yep. All of it, mate. All of it. Anyway. Guess it's time to get ready to go. Save it, save it. Right, now I'll save state as well. Where would you like to go? Anyway, yeah, look at this. So as you can see, all uh, well, what I basically said was in the main game there are a few one time dungeons, but stuff like Steam Cave and Tree Shroud Forest. And now accessible now. Um, but yeah, anyway. Look at that, we moved on to the third page of dungeons. 
Gonna be getting about six more, most, most, more, more, more than likely, more than likely, anyway. This is the entrance to Mr. Fine Forest. I have no idea what we're going to see in there, but this is our mission. Get to the deepest part of the forest and bring back the treasure. That's our graduation exam. Let's pass this exam and graduate from the guild. Let's not blow this phantom. Blow this lot. Let's not. Anyway, yeah, you do get Zubat coughings and um, scum tanks in here, funny enough. But they're not D ones, of course. Anyway. Anyway, you don't always get good experience from enemies. Yeah, but you know, I'll still be... Like, look at that, look. Look at that. I should have just attacked normally, but anyway. It's just the way the post game is. No more fantastic amount of experience from enemies. Well, for some of them. I think Spatial Rift, um, the second to last dungeon, that gives you quite a good anyway. Do you know, I don't know, man. If I really want to hang around in these dungeons. I mean, I should still be able to get good experience. It's not from the first few. Like, Flygon surely would give good experience. Cheers for that, anyway. Get a lava plume to your face. Boink. Much better. Wow, I defeated it with a very, very weak move towards it. Anyway. Explosion is just too risky. Anyway, execute. Not much. I believe you get them in apple woods, don't you? Not apple. Do you get them in apple apple woods? I don't know. I don't know. You get ex executor in think foggy forest. But you know. Oh hello, scum tank. One of the few threats in this dungeon, or is it? I don't remember. Yeah, because of that. Look at that. Six hundred seventeen experience points. With their blooming nuclear. Fart power. Oh, look at that, you got a tall terror as well. I know, Grottle. You know, if Grottle's this strong, I wonder how strong tall terror is. Ooh. It's a very weak amount of experience for that, anyway. I guess we'll continue on. I would prefer it if you know I could grab the money, bitch. Anyway, 71. Anyway, oh. Idiot. I meant to do that. Anyway, ratata. Ratata. Anyway, why are you wasting all your bloody discharge? Anyway, as you can see, there's a few Gen 1ers. Like quite a few post game Pokemon. Well, in post game in Pokemon, you unlock all the. Um, Pokemon from other generations in the post game. This is originally where you found other Pokemon other than Gen 4s in the post game. Obviously, there's a few from Gen 1 to 3 that you see in the game. Like um, Grovar, for example. I think Dustmore isn't even Gen 4, I think he's Gen 3. He's Gen 3 or 4, one of those two. Um, Sableye's Gen 3. Because you get him in that cave where you get the second gym. But you know. Bell sprout. What, what a waste of space that is. Oh, Munchlax. Hello. I mean, it's just rubbish experience. So, you know, I might just get out of here and open that. Wow. Do you know Yeah, let's not hang around here. Obviously, you've got the top tower, but you know. Boom. Really? Sit down. Oh. Critical. See, some of them are strong. So some of them aren't. Oof. Destruction. Utter destruction. Yeah, let's not hang around this dungeon. Is that a Raticate? Raticate, Raticate, Baker's Men. 
Is it like say anyway, hyper thing? What a move that is. Anyway, boom. It became terrified, what a shame. Yeah, let's get going. Oh look, it's cricket cricket top. Tackle boing. I will say the boss battles overall are harder in the post game. Like the next one, I'm going to be getting, I think, two battles where you get like a team with you. Um, I guess I could reveal what the boss is, but I'm not going to. But you know, you'll just have to find out. Like I said, post game, I, f I think it's got six dungeons. It's just got six bosses that I can think of. Well, I remembered, well, as I said, I think I remembered like four or five. I can remember another one. One's technically not a boss. Um, but you do you do fight a boss to gain it anyway. So I could die to Tall Terror here. Never mind. I've got the critical. So if they use Mega Drain again, oh. I mean, the way I'm doing this now is the way I used to do it. But you know, I'm just doing it this way now. Just because. Like most of them don't even give you good experience, you know. Anyway. Lovely. Anyway. I've got a feeling the exit somewhere on this side. Don't know where though, but you know. Or maybe not. I don't know. Oh, no, it's in the middle, technically. Thunder Shock. Are you ready for good old Lava Plume? Boing, boing. Really, it's Lava Plume, it's te it technically... It's not, um... Doing a direct hit, surely, because it's just like shooting well a lava plume, like out of you technically. Anyway, boing, boing. No, 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 no. That's not fair. Oh, that's just. That's just not cool. Oh, there's a gulpin. Sit down. Hey, what did what did a cross actually mean? Oh, you just can't use it. I guess. Yeah, I don't know why that would be any good because it occasionally warps you and it could warp you at the wrong time. Could get you could get near a staircase, yeah. It's just It's just not good overall, anyway. Can I find the exit now please? Thank bloody hell. I can't believe that. Syndical's item's gone do lally. If I do find the special floor though I'll be able to, you know. Get the stickiness away. Skuntang. Oh no, it's stunky. Still uses bloody explosion upon death. That along with the other moves makes the um, noxious gas combo. It's always good to use ranged attacks against them anyway. Really. Really. Sit down. Come on, you can find the exit. What what you gonna do? Come on, you can make it to the exit. Ah, oh, this is annoying. I'm just gonna have to, you know. 
user. No, I haven't even got one. Well, that's annoying. Let's just use that for now then, boing. Practice swinger. Let's have a let's have a look at that. When the Pokemon fails to hit a target when an attack or move, its attack and special attack gets boosted for only the next turn. Fair enough. Just gonna have to use the heal seed. Because I didn't find my way out. What a shame, what a shame, what a shame. It was all the way up here, was it? Yep, of course it was. Boink. Wide slash, okay. Don't think I've ever heard of that move. Well, I don't know every single bloody move. That would just be a bit geeky. Teddy Ursa. Oh dear, here we go. Explosion. It's just so inconvenient and annoying. And unnecessary, but you know. I'm getting hungry. That's not good. Oh dear. I need to find the exit like now. Cheers. Sixteen belly. Yeah, if I fully went through this dungeon it wouldn't have really helped because you can see most Pokemon as I said and as you can see don't really have well don't really give off amazing experience. Wait, is that a, a not Kakuna, yeah, Metapod. Why can't I think of its name? I don't know, anyway. Mystifying Forest Clearing, here we go. I'll save it, because it's coming up <laughs> once it's saved. I think we've come quite deep. Luminous Spring can't be too much further. Oh, Spike Phantom. Hey, Teddy S. Renursering. You're here too? Yup. We often come play here, so how's it going? Did you see your Grandmaster of all things bad? Nope. Nothing like that. See? I told you that you only heard a rumour. Why are you two here? Are you in search of that Grandmaster? No, we're not. We're searching for Luminous Spring. Oh, Luminous Spring. That's just up ahead here. What? Really? In fact, we're on our way there. Want to come with us? Yeah, come with us if you want. Let's go with them, Phantom. Oh dear, it was a trap. Wow! Is the Grandmaster going to be down here? <gasps> You'll have to find out in the next episode. No, I'm joking anyway. Ow, ow, ow! This is... Was that a pitfall trap? We fell down a pitfall trap? That's what happened to us. Ah, oh, the hole. The hole's closing up. Why? It's pitch black. I can't see a thing. Are we trapped? Mwah ha 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 ha. What? Someone's here. Who is it? Who are you? Welcome to the world of darkness. I am the Grandmaster of all things bad. What? The g g g Grandmaster of all things bad? Hmm. Not only the Grandmaster, but more of us besides. A bunch of us minions of the Grandmaster are here. You can't see us in the dark, but you're completely surrounded. Mwahahaha! Mwahahaha! Ha 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 ha! Coming to our lair is the last mistake you will ever make. You're not walking out of here. Prepare to. Yep! It's the whole guild and they're pretending, well, you, it's clear, it, it, you know, you can't hide the fact that it's not them. They make out that it's not them, but you know, you know it is anyway. Huh? What? Wigglytuff? And everyone else? What's going on here? 
Hey, Bidoof. Why did you take the cover off? Uh, what? Whoops. But I thought it'd be too dark down there for you all, so I opened it up. Maybe I did something I shouldn't have. Uh, helping out with the graduation exam and all. It's also new to me. I don't have the foggiest idea about what I should be doing. Oh, what a farce. Listen, Weekly Tough, can you please tell us what's going on? Who's Wiggly Tough? What? I am the Grandmaster. I know nothing of your so-called Wiggly Tough. What? Uh, that's right. And we're the Grandmaster's minions. Oh my gosh, that is so right. I don't know any Pokemon named Sunflora. Hey, hey, hey. What's going on here? Coming to our lair is the last mistake you'll ever make. You're not walking out of here. Prepare to face the terror that is the Grandmaster of all things bad. Yumta! So I believe it's like pretty happy music. Yep. Anyway, moves. I mean, Weekly Tough is the only real big threat here. I mean... Yeah, I'm just going to, you know, spam this charge. You're down. You're down. Look at that. Parallel analysis. Lava plume, boing, boing. Let's use flamethrower, shall we, boing? Get rid of Chimeco. Down goes Sunflora, down goes Diglett. Now there is only Wiggly Tough left, of course, you know. Flame Pro. I mean the battle ain't bad overall. It's just Wiggly Tough. Like that. But of course I had the reviver seeds on me. Flamethrower. Should nearly be over now though. Aha, that didn't work. You wasted a turn. Now die. Urgh. There we go. There's a hoover in the background. Hopefully you can't hear it. Anyway, they got me. Everyone, run away. Aye. Squawk. Hey, hey. Woo. What was that all about, I wonder? Well, I guess we're done here. We should move on. Let's go to Luminous Spring. Would you like to save? Yeah, as I said, Wigglytuff is the only danger. It would have been lovely if he could get paralysed, but he didn't that time. Hey, Teddy Ursa and Ursa Ring. Oh, it's you. What happened to you two? I thought you two were tagging along right behind us. Oh, something held us up. Anyway, what's going on? Oh, well, see, there's a treasure box here. There wasn't a treasure box here before. I want to open it, but I'm also getting a creepy feeling from it. You know, it'd be nasty if it's a booby trap or something. So we've been debating whether we should open it or leave it be. Well then, we'll open it. You see, we got sent here for the guild's graduation exam. We were told to bring back the treasure from here. That's it. The box must have something to do with your exam. You guys should open it. Can I get you to do this, Phantom? I think it's pr it probably would be okay. But you never know, it could be a trap. If I can get the dimensional scream to activate... That may give me a better idea if this treasure box is safe or not. Phantom touched the treasure box. The dizziness. The dizziness is starting. So, it's quite interesting because even though the future's been changed, he still gets the dimensional scream. So you can tell that, you know, changing the future doesn't affect it. But anyway. Bing. Here we go. There goes Wigglytuff. It was Wigglytuff that put this treasure here. That means inside this treasure box will be a perfect apple. This is... It's a perfect apple. The treasure of Luminous Spring. It was a perfect apple. A perfect apple is the treasure. It suits Wigglytuff, I guess. Well, yep, that's true. Why? What was that? 
The luminous spring is reactivating. What's that? Light, light is shining down. Oh, then maybe. Did luminous spring regain its power? It's evolution time. Those that seek awakening. Wow, who's saying that? The resumption of time has brought light here again. If you seek evolution, step forward. I knew it. I knew that Luminous Spring would be revived. Good for you, Tidiosa. You've been looking forward to evolution for a long time. Yup. Evolution. Oh, that's right. Wigglytuff mentioned it before. Luminous Spring. Yup. It was where Pokemon once went to evolve. But maybe because of the time troubles we had, no sunlight shines on the spring now. Now nothing can evolve there. Until now. Wigglytuff also said that this was where Pokemon would come to evolve. But what is evolution? Oh, you don't know what evolution is? What it means to evolve. Some kinds of Pokemon can evolve if specific conditions are first met. When a Pokemon evolves, its appearance changes, sometimes dramatically. Really? Your appearance changes? That's right. And it may not just be how you look that changes. When you evolve, sometimes your form and abilities can even change. How about that? Really? Yep, I've wanted to get stronger, so I've been hoping to evolve for a long time. I'll try it out right away. Those that seek awakening. This is Luminous Spring. Do you seek to evolve? Yup, please. Do you need an item to do so? Nope, I don't need one. So be it. Seeker of Awakening. Let us begin. Something is happening to Teddy Ursa. Teddy Ursa's appearance is changing. I don't actually know if... Oh, I think maybe a Thunderstone would be needed for Pikachu now I think of it. But yeah, anyway. Teddy Ursa evolved into Ursa Ring. Wow, Teddy Ursa just looks like Ursa Ring now. Yay! <laughs> hey, Ursa Ring. I've evolved. Congratulations. All the levelling up you went through finally paid off. Now it's hard to tell us apart, but good for you. Let's try evolving too, Phantom. I'll try first. Those that seek an awakening. This is the Luminous Spring. Do you seek to evolve? Yes, I want to evolve. Please, oh, this is exciting. Do you need an item to do so? An item? I don't know. Um, no, no item for me. So be it. Seeker of awakening. Let us begin. No, impossible. You may not evolve. What? Why not? Why can't I evolve? Is it maybe because I haven't met my requirements for evolving? No, that is not it. It is not merely a problem of not meeting requirements. Then why? Teddy Ursa was able to evolve. Why can't I evolve? Why can you not evolve? It may be influenced by a distortion in the fabric of space. Distortion? The fabric of space? Why that should be, I do not know. But your presence is somehow related to the distortion of space itself. And as a result of that, you cannot evolve. No, it is not only you, there is yet another. The one behind you is also forbidden its evolution. What? Phantom 2? What? Me too? That is all that I can tell. This is Luminous Spring. So maybe it has something to do with going to the future and sorting out time and stuff. Which has prevented it, but because they said space, that's not got necessarily anything to do with time. Maybe you'll find out exactly what it is about the distortion of space later on in the post game. But until then, I guess you got to go in anyway. This is Luminous Spring. If you seek new evolution, then you shall return. So, yep, no evolutions you just yet. Looks like it's not just me. I guess you can't evolve either, Phantom. I don't understand why we can't evolve, though. Anyway, we have the perfect couple that was in the treasure box. We should go back to the guild of it. Yah, yah, yah. You've passed the graduation exam. Yay. Congratulations. You two have passed the guild's graduation exam. You did it. Oh, not celebrating? Are you maybe not happy? Well, yes, I'm happy. But it hasn't really registered. I don't think we've accomplished anything that special. That's not true at all. Don't you understand that what you two did was incredible? You went and brought back a fantastic treasure and a perfect apple. But even better than that, you defeated that horrifying grandmaster of all things bad, didn't you? Ugh, but that's what I don't understand, Wigglytuff. How could you know that we defeated the Grandmaster of all things bad? Um, 
We heard it somewhere. Besides, that bad Grandmaster, Wigglytuff, wasn't that you? Huh? Uh, I... I don't know... I don't know what you're talking about. The Grandmaster of all things bad? Me too, I know nothing. The Grandmaster's minions, who, what are they? Hey, hey, me too. Eek, I don't know any minions. And they're all laughing, like they've blown their own cover here. Everyone, what's going on? Anyway, you two have now officially graduated from the guild. From now on, you will no longer be bound by the guild's strict regulations. You'll be free to operate as an exploration team totally on your own. Alright, oh, does that mean from now on that we get to keep all the reward money from the board jobs and we don't need to share with the guild? That's excellent, Phantom. No, unfortunately for you, that aspect doesn't change at all. As before, you will still have to give most of that money to the guild. What? Well, why? Graduation from the guild means you're still affiliated with us. Your team, Team Revolution, can operate only because of this guild. So you'll need to accept that as part of being an exploration team. Ugh, but, I mean, it's not like anything has changed from before. Eek, you don't understand graduating from the guild is extraordinary. That's right. I should know, even I could have passed the graduation exam. Oh dear. Anyway, you two have passed the exam with flying colours. I hope you'll keep up your great work as explorers. Wiggly Tough. Congratulations, Spike and Phantom. Oh my gosh, how wonderful. Hey, hey, hey. I'm so happy for you all. I'm, I'm... Dropping on your old friends now and then. Everyone, congratulations, Team Revolution. There we go. Oh, uh, everyone. Thank you, everyone. I'm not going to do a crying voice, you know. It's not really an upsetting scene to do it. It's just, you know, so happy. The Exploration Team Team for... The, the Exploration Team Team. The Exploration Team Federation sent a message. I think you get one more slot in your bag. Which you order within a large treasure bag. Yeah, you get six slots. You can now carry more items than you could before. Also, a uh, start-up funds for the newly affiliated team. Team Revolution received 10,000. One more thing. The special episode in the future of darkness has been unlocked. So I was right about it doing that. Wow. Yeah, I think I want to do this, start this now. Um, you know, and then finish it next episode anyway. To play the special episode, select from the episode list on the top menu. If you would like to play the special episode, blah, 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 yep. Anyway. Congratulations, Team Revolution. You gra graduated. Yeah. Now you basically camp out in Sharpedo Bluff. And you get the lovely music. Yeah, I won't get carried away anyway. Since we can't use our old room at the guild anymore, let's live here from now on. This whole idea of graduation hasn't sunk in much yet. But let's keep going on as, a, as an exploration team like we always have. From now on, this is Team Revolution's new exploration base. Let's head to the guild and check out the dog bulletin board and the outlaw notice board for jobs. It's a new beginning for us, Phantom. Quick advice. Because you've graduated from the guild, you may now... Once, you may from now on save a record of your progress using your bed here. Anyway. So you have to save and return to top menu. I don't know how long the final special episode is. I'm guessing it has got to do with stuff like Groval, Celebi, um, maybe the Sableye alongside Dust Noir, but anyway. Here we go, the final special episode in the future of darkness. Groval, who came from the future to prevent the plant's paralysis, collected the time gears, and together with Phantom and Spike, made his way to Dialga's temporal tower. However, Oh, they're showing this scene again. I won't. You'll never change history. Why? Wow. Ugh. Grovile. So you shielded Phantom, Grovile. That's taken a heavy toll on you very well. You're going down first. Oh. They're showing this sad scene again, are they? What are you doing? Ugh, Dash Noir. I'm... I'm taking you with me. We're going back to the future. What? What? Phantom. It's up to you now. Gah, those are time gears. Okay, team, the Rainbow Stone ship's set to go. What? What's happening? Spike, this is it for me. I'm taking Dust Noir back to the future. 
Huh? What? I can never come back here again. What's Phantom's back? Promise me. But, but, take your place, Grove Owl, I can't. You must and you will. Because you can, Spike. You two are the greatest of combinations. Whoa, unhand me. Release me. We're almost there. Quiet. Phantom. Take care, Phantom. I was lucky to have known you. Though the parting hurts, the rest is in your hands. Grovile. Sorry for the whole dust noir. So I'm guessing they're showing this cutscene now because it's going to be the follow-up. The special episode. So it's going to be in between chapter 20. Like the time it takes them to go up Temple Tower and stuff. Oh, sad music. Anyway, after entrusting his mission to his friends, Grovile returned to the future. Oh, Grovile, why? Grovile. Yet Phantom and Spike were desperately trying to contain their sorrow. Hey, Phantom, we have to do this for Grovile's sake. Let's go to Temporal Tower. Filled with that sentiment, they set off on a final adventure. But then, after having returned to the future with Dust Noir, Grovile. Special episode 5 in the future of darkness. I was actually told to um, check Grovile's IQ and like enable all his abilities, so you know, I'll do that anyway. Ooh. Didn't think I'd ever be back in the future, but you know, ugh, ugh, ugh. Dust Noir. There he is. Is this the future? I'm I'm back again. This world of darkness. But Dust Noir and I haven't disappeared. The future's still this dark place. Does that mean history history hasn't been changed yet? Don't tell me. Preventing the planet's paralysis. Did Phantom and Spike fail? No. That can't be. It's only that they haven't done it yet. The efforts of histories being changed will probably start appearing soon. I simply haven't noticed them yet. Anyhow, right now I've got no choice but to believe that. Phantom Spike, please succeed for me. I believe in you two. I'm doing everything I can. Ugh, my injuries from fighting Dust Noir still hurt. It's the Sableye? Wehehe, <laughs> Grovile. They found me already. I've got to get out of here as fast as I can. Up, oh, Dust Noir gets. Ugh. Dust Noir. Ugh, Grovile. Grovile. You! Ugh. Looks like our fight left you with some injuries too. Don't push yourself. You, you Grovile. Ugh. Ugh. This. This is the future. I knew I'd come right back here to this world. <laughs> After all, after all, didn't I lose to you, Grovile and Phantom? I, I couldn't get in your way. <laughs> but, why? I don't want to disappear, that's all. I just don't want to disappear. Yet, why did you? You saw the world of the past, didn't you? The beauty of a sunrise, peacefulness of a gentle breeze. There's no future in this dark world, it's enough to break your heart. I don't want to disappear either. I've got a feeling there's still going to be some blooming sad scenes. Um, I didn't think I'd see any more. But yeah, I feel like they will be anyway. But if history could be changed, I'm willing to pay that price. Even if we disappeared, it would be for the sake of everyone who lives in the future. Everyone, everything, from now on we would be giving a gift of a new life. For a new life? According to the planetary investigation team, everyone except those few whose heart are dark and shriveled. Everyone was in agreement. They all agreed to change this world of darkness. Everyone's ready. So do the right thing and give up. Where will you go? The Sableye found me earlier. While you were still unconscious. Your failure. They'll probably tell Primal Dialga about it. If that happens, Primal Dialga will likely go with Plan B. But in order to send a new agent back to the past world... Dialga needs some time to store power, so I'm going to fight him now. 
I'm going to Temporal Tower to take on Primal Dialga. Ooh, that'll be interesting. Temporal Tower in the future. Do you think you can defeat Master Dialga? You're already wounded from our battle. You'd have to be in perfect shape to even consider such an enormous challenge. You'd never win in the state that you're in now. I already know I won't win. What? Until Phantom and Spike change history. Until the efforts of changing history start to appear in this dark world. Until then, I want to buy them some time, that's all. So stay out of my way. I... I won't let you do that. Ugh. Blast. Still too weakened. Can't move. But Groval can't just do as he pleases. So I guess we do the first dungeon. Special episode in the future of darkness stars Groval as the main character. We will progress through the story with Groval as the playable character. Baron Valley. Right. Well, everything's already done. What is this anyway? Item Master. The Pokemon will use or throw its held item. Course Checker. If the Pokemon targets an enemy with a move or a thrown item, it will first check for walls of a Pokemon. Blah, 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 blah. The regular. The Pokemon uses only moves, not its regular attack. It won't use moves that are out of PP or moves with a link that will de-link if used one more time. Fair enough. I guess it's time to now. Set off anyway. Alright, let's bring that down here. What's going on? Huh? Anyway, let's go. I guess I'll do this first dungeon. Because um, I'm guessing there will be multiple dungeons, so otherwise I'll be straight at the Temple Tower. I mean, don't know how long it will be. I mean, most of them have been. Well, one of them was like 40 minutes, that was the Sunfloor one. Um, but yeah. Oh, I haven't even found any Pokemon yet. I guess some of them are longer than others anyway. That's not fun. Oh dear. Yeah, I won't fight unnecessarily. If I can help it. But you know. I guess it could have been on a higher level than 46, but he isn't. Because you know. Anyway, I don't know why I want it to go over there. I could see that it would lead to a dead end, but you know. Oh, Murkrow, that's not going to be helpful anyway. Boing. Let's use Leaf Blade. Again. Sit down. Be humble. Sit down. What is this? A totter seed. It could be useful for bosses, I guess. Let's get out of here. It's nothing, but you know, I can still come down here. And like how they always have some mysterious and eerie feel to them. All these dungeons anyway. Wow, we're already going into a boss, are we? I've come a long way, just a little further. Well, I'm guessing there's going to be a boss. When this, well, when you get these Kangaskhan rocks, that's what it usually means, so you know. Who's like to go on? Yeah. Give me that money. Well, that's not helpful. Dig. Oh dear, that's not helpful. Well, I escaped from that. There we go, 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 go. Toxic Roke. Okay. Some of these are big enemies, anyway. Oh, that's fantastic, isn't it? Anyway, I think 
I actually like the fact that they've given Grovile a special episode because he's the most important character that isn't the main character. So for me, Phantom and Spike. I guess you could say he's the most important um, side character in a way. Dig by the time they come over. Boom. Clever. Anyway. Yeah, Groval is just amazing. All round. All round superstar, anyway. Other than when this happens, of course, anyway. Leaf Blade. Shing. Leaf Blade. Shing. I guess you get decent experience, but anyway. Don't tell me, like, it was over here the whole time. Oh. Well, that's annoying. Let's get out of here. Keep on going. Blink a seed, fair enough anyway. Oh, I've got a right itch. Anyway. I guess I've got a few, you know, things anyway. Blink a seed. Obscures vision, we do not want that. If it's the one that enhances vision, that would be better, but anyway. Boink. Leaf blade, I don't know. That'll do. Boink. Well, that didn't go to plan, did it? Nope, it didn't. Oh, you're a bitch. Now we got to shop it, have we? That's not good. I just need to get... Ah. This didn't go the way I wanted it to. Um, absorb, I don't know. That'll have to do for now, won't it? Yep. <sighs> Lovely. Well, that was clutched. That's very clutched. That is that is how you clutch things, though, you know. With style. You can stop now. Absorb. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Don't miss again. Thank you. Oh, I'm going to have to use it again, ain't I? That'll do. Oh, screw you, mate. Do you know what? Yep, just, you know, go away or something. Absorb again, I don't know. I just need to do something that'll work. You know, in terms of items, I've got a blinker seed. I've used most of those type of items now, though, which is a shame, anyway. Oh, thank God for that. Barren Valley clearing. I'm guessing there's a boss. As I said, I'm guessing so, anyway. I think I'm almost through, but it's still a ways to Temporal Tower. Put it on charge. Mustn't lose any time. Grovile. Oh dear. I was positive you'd come after me, Dust Noir, so hello. <laughs> How nice of him, you know, to say hello. What a gentleman. Do you seriously intend to fight in the condition you're in? Ah, uh, you're injured too. Grovile. There he is, over there. Wehehe. Ha 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 ha! Oh dear. 
Grovile, I regret to inform you that the situation has changed. Say, Bly, your arrival is admirably timed. Be so good as to knock out Grovile. Wehehe. Ah. What? What do you think you are doing? Holy crap, they're turning on him. Gah, what is the meaning of this? Why, why do you mean... What do you mean by suddenly attacking me? Don't ask why, just fight back, Dustmore. What? Don't you get it? These guys are not the only one that they're aiming at anymore. What are you saying? Oh, wow. I'd never expected this. They're going to work together. Why? Why me? I don't know either. Believe me. If this goes on, we'll... Both of us will get knocked out. Wehehe. Wow. Wow. Just wow. What do I want to do, though? I don't know, Leaf Blade, that'll do. Decent move to use. Blade. That's you down. I want to aim at that one because that one's weak. That'll do. At least Dustmore's not missing, Grovel. Come on. Meow. Shing. Oh, wonderful. Just for just to be cheeky. Oh, never mind. Didn't work. Does that not work, I'm saying? There we go. That'll do. Wehehe. Run! Wehehe. Nevertheless, why? Why are the Sableye attacking me? Hmm. <laughs> They already abandoned you at the Hidden Land and ran off, didn't they? Why are you still surprised? Even so, the Sableye follow any orders given to them by Master Dialga or myself. Why they might target me like that? I cannot think of an appropriate reason. Don't you think maybe Dialga gave them that order? What are you implying? Not possible. Absolutely impossible. There's no way. That Master Dialga would abandon me like that? There's categorically no chance. Sure, sure, but I wonder... You did fail to stop Phantom in the past, so it's not unexpected that Dialga might abandon you like this. Hmm. <laughs> Whatever, it's none of my business. Your little family spats are fine with me. Keep it up. I've got to hurry on ahead. See you. Wait. Why don't we call a temporary truce, Grovile? Would you care to accompany me for a little while at least? Excuse me? It's not a joke, I'm serious. This guy, what's he up to? Is he going to pretend to work together and then attack me when my guard is down? Don't worry, I won't attack you during our adventure. Grovile, you're certainly cautious. From the moment you heard my proposal, I suspect you were already starting to be wary. Given my current condition and your understandable wariness, I would fare poorly against you. Additionally, I want to know, why did the Sableye attack me? We will be stronger if we team up. We can make it through dungeons faster. The Pokemon in the dungeons are affected by the darkness. I think you've seen how they've become more and more vicious. You are intelligent enough to see the merit in banding together. I know how strong this guy is. There are advantages to adventuring with him. I can't figure out what Dusnoir's thinking, but I think teaming up with him will be okay for now. Wow, this is a turn out for the books. Never would you have thought this. Maybe what Weekly Tough said about there um, truly being no really evil and bad Pokemon. Maybe Weekly Tough was right. Maybe there isn't truly one because maybe all of them do have the goodness in their hearts anyway understood let's go however don't try anything funny because i'll beat you down immediately if you do <laughs> that's the grove i know hmm <laughs> as you like let's go one dungeon down don't know how many more to go here we go once we're through this wasteland we should be close to temple or tower let's get a move on compose yourself we need to prepare before we go 
If you rush too much, you'll fail. Keep a leash on your impatience. Ah, <sighs> don't boss me around, Dustmore. Look at this. Wasteland. Welcome to the wasteland. Anyway. I guess I could take out a few things. I mean, of course, I've got 19 Reviver Seeds. I don't fancy taking them out. So, you know. Yeah, that'll do for now, anyway. I'd like to save. Here we go. <coughs> right, so that marks the end of the first episode of my playthrough of the post game. Of my playthrough. Of Purple Mystery Dungeon, Explorers of Sky. And in the next episode, I may be finishing this special episode, but by the sounds of it, it seems as though this will be a long special episode, because once I get past this dungeon, Grovel states that we'll be close to Temple or Tower, so still won't be at Temple or Tower after this dungeon. So there's still at least three more, plus the cutscenes, plus probably a few more boss battles, etc, etc. So, you know, um, there's still a few, still a, still a long while to go by the sounds of it, but because this is a little, like, a little blind part of the playthrough, obviously, I hope you will enjoy seeing me go through it for the first time, enjoy my, like, reactions and stuff, and I hope to see you tomorrow for the continuation of it, and I'll also see you later, this time, definitely, for the continuation of Assassin's Creed Rogue, and I'll make sure that I will upload it this time. But until then, a massive thumbs up. All I've got to say to you now is goodbye and good night.